guys, I just wanted to do a really quick intro for what we're doing today. This is the Packing for Vacation series, in case you were wondering. There was episode one and two, which I did clothing and accessories. If you missed those, I will link it down below for sure. Um, but today we are doing makeup, which is the meat of this series, because again, this is a beauty channel and it takes me quite a while. And I do have a process for how I pack what I pick. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you are new, hello. Hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco and you are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay guys, so we're going to start off with brushes because it's going to be pretty quick. Um, this was in my last Sunday Funday haul or this was in a Sunday Funday haul a while ago. I got this off of Amazon and I wanted something that closed all the way and then you have big brushes right here and then you have tons of room for little ones and then you have this mesh thing so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a brand new Real Technique sponge just because I won't have to worry about it and I don't need the package so I'm just going to put this in here. I've also been loving these little mini ones from um, Beauty blender, so I'm gonna put that little one in there. Um, don't mind my nails. I had nail wraps on these fingers that are blank now, and they just peeled right off. So um, I'm gonna change my nail polish, but I wanted to do all this before I did that. So moving on. Um, so now I'm gonna start off. I'm actually gonna put this one in here too, but oh, I need a better way to put that in there. I'm gonna see if one of these will fit on there. These are brush guards, and I got these off of Amazon as well, in case anybody was wondering. Look, it's like a little Tootsie Roll. Okay, so that's gonna go in there too, just because it's so awkward. Um, okay, so let's start off with face brushes because that's gonna be really quick. Um, obviously, my Morphe M439. This is my go-to foundation brush, so this is coming with, and I did just clean these um, yesterday, so. Okay, uh, moving on, my favorite blush brush, this is the Morphe S13, this is coming with my favorite highlighting brush, this is the Real Techniques setting brush, so I'm going to put that in there too. Um, I am going to bring my Mr. Right from Too Faced, I swore I was going to use this for decoration, but I used it one time and now I'm in love, and yes, his little bow tie is coming with. So I need to pick one that I want for contouring, and I have a couple that I use. Um, I was using the 557, but this thing started shedding like nobody's business. So this is a Luxie 504 large angle brush. So I'm going to pop him in there. Actually, I guess we could color her since she's pink. This is a Morphe M434. Okay, this Mac Daddy is my favorite one to use for bronzer even though the freaking handles broken I love this thing because it's so easy to use and I'm sure I could find a better one but it works so I'll put this in the center all right <clears throat> moving on to eye brushes I of course have my favorites so let's just start off with my flower um, ultimate eyeshadow brush. This is one of my favorite ones, so I'm definitely bringing that one. Okay, um, I love my smudger brushes. I use these the most. This is an It Cosmetics one, and the writing is officially gone, so, ooh, that doesn't even fit on there. But it'll still help, right? Let me dig out my other smudger brushes. Um, I want all of my It Cosmetics brushes are my favorite, um, ones to use. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to grab all of those and then I'm going to grab my fluffy Luxie brush and pack that. I love this Ulta one. And then this is my favorite packing brush. This is a uh, Morphe M167. This one's really great at packing on color. So I'm going to grab that. And I think that's all I'm going to need. I'm going to grab this little spoolie for my eyebrows because I like to comb them out so they lay nicely. I'm not going to take my Wayne Goss brush in the tragic event that I lose any of these. That brush is way too expensive for that. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to bring. I have a crease brush. I have fluffy brushes. I have dome brushes. So I think that's all I'm going to take. And that's still 12 eye brushes, which no normal person probably needs that many. But maybe some people take more and I won't feel so bad. I don't know. Okay, so brushes are done. I'm going to zip this up. 
Um, and we are ready to go for that. So let's move on to makeup. Okay, so this is a makeup case. Um, I don't know what brand this is, but my mom got it for me. Um, she bought it, I think we got it at Marshall's because she had gift cards that she wanted to use up. And so um, she got me a really nice makeup bag because it's like nice and deep. Um, so <clears throat> how I pack my makeup is my usual rule of thumb is threes. And so I have three foundations. I have three mascaras. I have three eyeliners. Well, I have more than three eyeliners, but, um, I have four, two, uh, makeup palettes. And so that's just usually what I do just in case anything were to happen or depending on like what kind of makeup day I want. Um, again, this is my passion and this is my, you know what I mean? almost my job, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a huge YouTuber or anything like that, but this is what I dedicate myself to, and so that's why I say it's my job. And so, um, I just got this Rainforest of the Sea, um, <clears throat> set. This is a foundation and a concealer, and so I really want to test this out for you guys and do a review on it. So I'm going to pack both of those, um, and I'm going to keep them in their box for right now. <clears throat> and then, my Marc Jacobs, again, is brand new. Uh, you guys have seen it before, but it's brand new to me right now. Again, this is pre-recorded, so uh, I want to test that out. Um, this is my Holy Grail foundation, as crazy as that sounds. This is Cover Girl in LA CC Cream Tone Rehab, um, and you can see I've never used this much of one foundation before. This is the, like, easy, quick makeup day for me, which is going to be happening, like, when I go to the lake, and you know what I mean? We don't swim at the lake, it's just fishing and like hanging out. So I'm gonna bring that. Um, <clears throat> another concealer, this is my Holy Grail concealer. This is my Urban Decay Naked Skin. And then I also wanna be testing out this color corrector, so I'm gonna bring both of those. Um, this is a primer, my favorite primer um, that I'm gonna bring. This is my Stila One Step Correct, and I'm gonna buy a Smashbox primer water when I get down there because I don't have any right now where I may run and get some tonight I'm not sure yet. Uh, this is a new translucent powder that I'm going to test out. This is the NARS crystal powder So I'm bringing that <clears throat> So these are all of my mascaras and eyeliners um, Again, I'm going to bring my travel ones so I can finish them up instead of opening a brand new one This one is on its last leg. So that's why I'm bringing that one This is the Revlon ultimate all-in-one which is really good actually believe it or not um, My roller lash which I need to use up and then this is brand new. This is the Tarte Tartist lash paint. And so, um, as you can tell, I have like a ton of Tarte stuff that I just got. Um, so I want to use the <clears throat> all the new stuff. And then I have a brand new um, two in la two in one lash boosting um, by Physicians Formula. This is a liner pen, and this is my Holy Grail one. Again, I'm gonna bring a brand new one that we don't have to worry about it drying up or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to bring that one. Um, I was going to bring this Too Faced one because I haven't been using it, but I think I'm not going to anymore. And then I just have some want different ones for my waterline. Tan, black, and white. So all those are going. Um, this is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I, uh, I only have one good primer for my eyeshadows, and that's the one I'm going to bring. This is a setting spray. This is the new one from Tarte, again, Rainforest of the Sea. I really want to do, like, a whole brand, um, review for you guys on, like, this collection, the Rainforest of the Sea. That's why I have so many different ones. Okay, um, I'm going to put some of my smaller palettes in here, like my face palettes. So these are the two, um, highlighting palettes that I'm going to bring. Yes, I'm bringing two because I can't go anywhere without Champagne Pop. And this one's one of my favorites too, um, Pearl. You can see what a dent I have made in that one. Um, and then I really love the Luminizer ones, especially Mary and Cindy Lou. Um, I love pink highlighters on my skin, so definitely bringing that one. <clears throat> so I'll put these ones in here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to put my Hoola bronzer in this one. Oh, I don't have a... Oh, yeah, I do. Um, and then I'm bringing my Tarte Bling It On blush palette because it has every color that you would need instead of taking a bunch of individual ones. So I'm going to put this one in there, too. I need to put this to find out. There we go. Um, this is my Tarte Tartist contour palette. I didn't realize how much Tarte stuff I had. Um, and I love the blush in here. And I also... 
um, like the setting powder for underneath my eyes and I love this bronzer or contour shade all of them are really good so I'm gonna take that one with me moving on I'm bringing four well five actually eyeshadow palettes um, three out of four are chocolate or um, Too Faced. I love this chocolate bonbon one. I can create so many different looks with this and it has pops of color. My Too Faced Peaches one, I really want to get some good use out of this and they're perfect colors for down there. And then the Boudoir is my Holy Grail palette uh, of all time. I will repurchase this as soon as like I actually finish it up. I'll never be without my Boudoir because it was like one of my very first palettes and so this is like again my easy makeup days. I can do like seriously six different looks with this thing I really can and it's so easy so um, I'm gonna bring that and then I'm bringing my Urban Decay shadow box just because it's the smallest palette that I have that has pops of color in it because sometimes I like to do like a neutral eye and then you know something really colorful on my lower lash line and so this is the smallest thing that I have with all this color in it and then this is brand new and so I want to give this a try. This is the Tarte Tease palette. So I am still going to be doing homework and stuff while I'm down there which is the funnest homework you can have is makeup. Um, so all that's going to go in there. Um, this is a Dior makeup bag and I'm going to put all of my lip products in here and put it in here. That way they're not sliding around and damaging any of my palettes. Um, so I'm literally bringing almost every single liquid lipstick that I have because it's the easiest and they last for a long time. So these are the Revlon HD ones that I have. Um, I only have three. This is Addiction, Devotion, and then this one is Passion. So I'm bringing all of those. I'm going to bring both of my NYX lingerie. This one is in Ruffle Trim and then this one is in Exotic. So I'm bringing both of those. Uh, and then I'm bringing my Meet Matt Hughes. This is in, this one is in Chivalrous, which is a really pretty pink, which is perfect for summertime. Um, and then I just got this. This is a Sephora favorite. Give me some nude lip kit. And so I'm going to test all these out. That way I can do a review on them when I get back. And then I have an extra tart lip paint that came in that tease kit back there. So I'm going to bring all of those. And I know that's a lot. It really is. But I like to have options. And again, this is my passion, so those are all coming. And now makeup is officially done. I have primer, I have setting spray, I have foundation, concealer, blush, contour, highlight, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, so that's, and lipstick, that's all I need. And now we're gonna move on into skincare items. So the first thing that I have to bring is my Clarisonic. That is going to go in this Too Faced bag, and along with that goes my Purity Made Simple. This is what I use to wash my face, and it's also what I use to wash my brushes. Um, so I can do that because, again, I'm going to be there for two and a half weeks. Um, and I did put tape on the lid so it doesn't leak. And then I need my toner for every night and morning. I tone my face. All right, so there's one little skincare, and then I'm going to put all of my little things and bubbles in here. So I have a Murad sample that I want to use and it has sunscreen in it which is really good. Um, these are Vine Vera skincare and I'm, I want to use these because they were so outrageous. Uh, this is my pore treatment um, that I use every night. This is from the Yes To You or Yes To Grapefruit. Um, and then I have a day cream that I'm going to pack. And I'll probably get a night cream when I get down there because I literally just used the very last drop of it. And then this is another Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is a drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Serum. Um, so I want to try that while I'm there. And then these were in the kit as well, but I already have this spray. So I'm going to set this aside for my next giveaway to one of you guys. And then um, I do, I think I'm going to try this cleansing gel. Well, no, I already have my philosophy, so I'll put these aside for you guys uh, in my next giveaway. And then I'm going to put my cotton rounds in here. And then um, just a couple more skincare items. I have a lip balm. This is that one that I told you guys about and one of my monthly favorites, the Smile for a Cause. I use this every single night, so that'll there's still enough left for me. 
And then um, I'm bringing my Etre Bell um, eye caviar roll on, my eye cream. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna bring these Glam Glow masks for me and my mom to do. I think she could do one and I could do the other. Okay, uh, this is my Yes to Tomatoes. This is in case I get a breakout. It's a concealer, but it also has tomato extract in it. And so it treats it while it covers it up at the same time. Um, so I'm gonna bring this just in case. I get any breakouts and then I'm gonna bring some other masks for me and my mom to do uh, these two I won from um, only in my dreams and so I want to bring this with and these two and then this is the eye mask the snail one and I didn't like the snail one so I'm probably just gonna give that to my mom and then uh, I have a miss spa one so I'm gonna take those with too and then this is just a Sephora um, makeup bag and my Clarisonic charger doesn't fit in any of those things so I'm gonna see if I can't make it fit in here in this little center pocket maybe. So that is it for makeup, that is it for brushes, that is it for skincare. Um, hopefully I can make this as short as possible. Again, this is what I spend the most time on and that was just packing it. It took me forever just to pick stuff out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this last episode of Packing for Vacation. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.